The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, ninth chapter, text number 18 and 19, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in November of 1966 in New York. <coughs> Gati Bhatta Prabhu Shasi Nibasa Saranam Suhi Prabhava Pralaya Sthanam Nidhanam Bidam Abhaya The Lord is Gati. Gati means the destination. We do not know what is our destination. Due to our ignorance, due to our becoming overwhelmed by the illusory energy. We do not know what is our destination of life. Nati Vidu Shatra Gatanya Vishnu. People do not know what is their destination of life. The destination of life is to reestablish his lost relationship with the Supreme Law. That is his destination. Unfortunately, uh, people do not know what is destination. They are simply thinking destination of life to have the greatest amounts of sense gratification. This is illusion. Because we are materially absorbed and materially concept of life means the senses. We have no other information. So we are trying to squeeze out all kinds of pleasure from sense. This is called illusion. They have no other information. They are earning, working very hard, eh? and uh, the ultimate goal is sense gratification. Uh, this is illusion. The ultimate goal is Krishna as the Supreme Law, Gati. Gati means destination. Where you are going? Ah. Wow. Which way you are making your progress? Oh, that we cannot say. We make progress. Oh, sense quite ah. begin. The greatest amount of pleasure which you can derive out of the senses, that is our destination. No. The destination is God, the Vishnu, the Supreme Law, of, we, of whom we are the parts and parcels uh, by forgotten, for forgetting our relationship, we are struggling. Mamai Vamsa Jeeva Loki, Jeeva Bhuta Panatana, Manasya Sthani Indriyani, Prakriti Sthani Karsati, Prakriti Sthani, in this material nature, the fragmental portion of the Supreme Lord, living entities, uh, the senses and the mind, entrapped by the senses, the struggle. But this is not the destination. The Lord says, the Bhagavad Gita says, that He is the destination. Vishnu Durasaya, Durasaya ji Bhairatthamanina. Bhairatthamanina means this Material nature is the external nature of the Supreme Law because we have been entrapped in this material nature. Therefore, we are thinking that to make material advancement of life, that is the perfection. Durasa. This is called Durasa. Durasa means, uh, do means uh, very distant, or do means very difficult. And asa means hope. This hope is never to be fulfilled. Uh, uh, this is a hope which will never be fulfilled. Uh, this is called illusion. We are making progress uh, to make perfect life by this material advancement. This is our uh, hmm. undue hope. It will never be fulfilled. Durasaya. And what is the activity 
अदांत गोभी विशदांत मिश्रम अदांत गोभी गो मीन्स एज सेंस अदांत मीन्स अनब्रिड अनकंट्रोल अनकंट्रोल सेंस जस्ट लाइक अनकंट्रोल हॉर्स यू आर ऑन द कैरेज एंड योर हॉर्स एज अनकंट्रोल अनब्रिड एंड यू टेकिंग विथ फुल फोर्स and putting in that plastic ocean you cannot control okay so similarly adant gobi visatang tamisram visatang means he is entering to the darkest part of ignorance by the uncontrolled unbridled senses uh, so nati vidu shat gatin vishnu durasayaadi bahiratthamani ha अदांत गोभी विशतांग तमिश्रम पुनः पुनः चर्वित चर्वना नाम दीज पीपल हु डू नॉट नो द डेस्टिनेशन दे आर ट्राइंग टू मेक एक्सपेरिमेंट विच इज ऑलरेडी एक्सपेरिमेंटेड इट इज ऑलरेडी एक्सपेरिमेंट टेक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई गिव यू अन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल one of our students uh his father comes and is starting oh he i don't like this association uh, i have no meaning for marriage you chase that the roman you eat and drink and enjoy i give you car you see what is the fault of that poor student that is trying to give up all intoxication he is not eating meat he is living purely on vegetable he is controlling no sex uh, english is sex relationship uh na attending class morning and evening or oh, he thinks it is dangerous uh, so punap punap chervit chervana he has already experienced uh he is married he was married his wife divorced and his wife uh, divorced him three times Uh, so many things he has bad very bad experience of his life but he is inducing his son to do the same thing he has no other idea this is called puna puna charvit charvana naam chewing the tube just like we take a sugar cane and we chew it take up all the ex- extra juice i throw it in the street and again somebody comes and chewing it what is there already the all the juice that contact are taken it so these material life experience chasing after romance and drinking and oh sense gratification and so many things spending like anything we have seen it but we have not experience any actual happiness is still i am trying to induce my son my dependent into that way uh oh. the police people uh, uh do not think that i have already experimented all these things what benefit what happiness i have got uh oh. this is called punap punachar repeatedly chewing the chew repeated uh oh. this is going Nobody thinks that I have already experimented all these things. What benefit I got? What happiness I got? I am uh, frustrated in my life. Huh? So why shall I induce my son? If I at all love my son, why shall I induce my son into that? Oh, let him experiment this. Krishna answers, No, because Adant Govi Bishtang Tamisram. Uh, That's right. That's a very nice story. Ah, ah. A monkey. A monkey. They are very busy. You know. Ah, but their business is ah to simply destroy. Ah. You find monkey always busy, ah. very active. Ah. So, hmm. In the village, there was a carpenter who was ah by taking one big beam. by saw so at the end of his work half of the beam 
was uh, cut into two, so he put one uh, block between the two pieces and he went there. And uh, uh, then one uh, monkey came and he uh, pulled out the block and his tail was captured in that between the two and it was cut. Uh, so he went to his society and he said that this is the fashion. This is the fashion. Langun Hin Siddha. He is advertised to cut one's tail. This is the latest fashion. Similarly, I <laughs> saw one cinema in my childhood, a similar story on Mr. Max Lin or something like that. He played that. He was sitting in a park and some naughty boy. I mean, it's a nail, he's a tail, or that tail coat when he ball dancing. So, so when he got up, that half part of that tail was taken away. So, when he was dancing in the ball, everyone's looking to his backside. What is this? His tail is cut. So he saw in the mirror that my tail is cut. So he began to dance more nicely. And everyone asking, hey, what is, oh, this is the latest fashion. This is the latest fashion. Uh, so everyone began to cut his tail. <laughs> so uh, this is life is going on. Uh, I have become before. So I don't want <coughs> that my son will be intelligent. Let him become before. Let him become before. This is called puna puna charvita charvana. Repeatedly chewing the chew. But from the Bhagavad Gita we understand that our ultimate goal of life is to reach Krishna as the Supreme Lord. Gati. And Bhatta. Bhatta means maintainer. Maintainer. He is maintaining everyone. That's the fact. There are Eight million four hundred thousand of species of life are out of reach. Human society, human beings are very small number. Say about two hundred thousand species uh, species of life. Balance eight hundred, two hundred thousand species of life. Their animal and aquatic birds, bees, uh, uncivilized man. So many species of life. They have no economic problem. They have no economic. There is no question of starvation. They are eating, they are sleeping, they are having their uh, mating, opposite sex, and they are defying, defending us in their own way. So they have no problem. <coughs> Only the civilized men, they have got problem. Only that uh, small number of civilized men, so-called civilized men, they have got. They do not believe that God protects everyone. By advancement of civilization, they have learned this art to refuse God. They want to make their economic problems solved by themselves. God is giving them sufficient grain, sufficient fruit, sufficient vegetables, sufficient meal. No, they want to make solution of their problems uh, by killing other poor animals. Uh, uh, but they do not believe in God. Uh, they do not believe in God. That I am killing poor animals. They are also sons of God as much as I am sons of As we are sons of God. God is maintaining that poor animal. God is maintaining me. Why should I encroach upon others' lives? You see? There are no such things. Because they don't believe in God, uh, they have no such faith. This is going on. But in Bhagavad Gita says, no, I am the Supreme. Uh, uh, <coughs> the Lord says, uh, I am the Prabhava. From every, everything, whatever you see, that is emanating from me. Uh, so we have no um, practical economic problem. 
God is maintaining everyone. The production which is being made all over the world, that is sufficient to provide all the population of the world. That is God's arrangement. There is no scarcity. But because we have made our own rules and regulations, although we have got enough grains produced, we can produce uh, much more than what is needed by us. And I can throw in the uh, ocean the extent. You see, if some poor country or poor brother comes, I refuse. <coughs> this is called, we, because we do not know that our destination is God, therefore the violation of the rules of nature, violation of the laws of God we are making, and we are becoming entrapped by this material nature. This is a fact. Gati <coughs> bhatta prabhu. Prabhu. Prabhu means the master. And sakshi. Sakshi means witness. God is sitting within your heart. Ishara sarvahutanam riddhes arjuna tishtati. Ishara means Supreme Lord. He is sitting in everyone's heart. So he is witness. Whatever you are doing, he is witness. He is giving you facility to do whatever you like. <coughs> but at the same time, you may forget. Suppose I wanted to do something in this life. This is not fulfilled. And next life, when I get another body, the God reminds me, well, you wanted to do this, why not experiment? Huh. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Tarmasya chahang rivisanne vishya. I am seated in everyone's heart. Huh. Matta smriti jnana mapohanancha. From me there is remembrance, smriti, there is knowledge, and there is forgetfulness also. So, what is that? God making one person forgetful, another person encouraging. Why? Because I want it like that. Because I don't want uh, my, to revive my relationship with the Supreme Lord. Whenever I speak of God, oh, some person becomes so. What is God? Uh, I mean, the what you are speaking, God? They don't want God. So God gives him that forget me. Yes, we forget and suffer. And one who wants God, just like some uh, poor students are trying to uh, re-establish his relationship with Krishna. Oh, Krishna gives him to yes. So therefore, his business is to make you forgetful because you want to forget. And when you are advanced, if you want, no. Uh, if you want to establish, re-establish your relationship, he is encouraged. So there are two things are there. Witness. He gives you full independence, whatever you like to do. But he gives you instruction at the same time that these things will not satisfy you, my dear God. Sarvadharma and Prati, you give up all this nonsense. Come to me, I shall give you all protection. But we don't want to take protection. So what God will do? In poor God, what can we can do everything? But he doesn't interfere with your affair. If you want to forget, he will make, give you so many facilities by this illusory energy that he'll forget, 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 Adanta Govi, Vishtam, Tamisram. Now you have got this beautiful body uh, of human um, civilized human being, or you, you can get uh, the body of more and more uh, developed body, just like Brahma, just like the sun, moon, and so many there are. And if you forget, you go down to the cats and dogs and ants and germs and so many things, become a worm of the stool. He will give you all facility. This is called karma chakra. Cycle of work. As you desire, so God gives you facility. Therefore, our desire should be revived. What kind of desire we should at all make? 
that for these Bhagavad Gita is there, this scripture is there. Oh. He you have forgotten, we have forgotten all these things. Therefore the books and the scriptures are there. That is also another mercy of God. Oh. Oh. Just like you consult a book doing something, ah, just like we do every day. What is the postal rate? Ah, I do not know. Ah, this is a hmm, parcel I have to send. So at, at once I consult book, the direction is there, postal guide is there, and I do the right thing. Similarly, when we forget our activity, what is the destination of life, then we have to consult. This is the direction. The Lord says, Gati, Vatya, Prabhu, Shakshi, I am the destination, I am your maintainer, I am your Lord, I am witnessing what you are doing, Nivasa, and you are living in me. You are not independent, you are living. Where you are living? I am living on the earth. Underneath the sky. And what is the sky? What is this art? This is the uh, uh, energy. Energy of the Supreme Law. So Nivasa, Saranam, uh, you are trying to leave. Uh, every moment you are flattering somebody who is greater than you. But why don't you come to me? You cannot leave without flattering your boss. That is your position. Uh, Saranam. Saranam means to take shelter of somebody, especially in these days. However educated I may be, with an application, I take shelter of a big man. Please give me some form. However great I may be, I may be a uh, uh, very uh, <coughs> intelligent man to become the ruler of this country. Oh, I'll have to, uh, I mean, to face platters on the street. Please vote for me. Please vote for me. Please re-elect me. Ah. So I am taking saranam. I am flattering. I am taking shelter in every moment. Why not God? Oh, when I say, oh, what do you see? What do you say, Sanji, about God? So they will take shelter of God, but not God. You see? This is good. Saranam, Srihit. Srihit means well-wisher. Who can become more well-wisher than God? Sridham Sarvabhutanam. Sridham Sarvabhutanam. He, uh, I can be friend, well-wisher, to a limited circle, but God is friend and well-wisher of all living beings. I can take care of my family members. Uh, how they are happy, how they are eating, but God is taking care of any marvel living entity. I don't take care of the ants in my room, what they are eating. I do not take care of the bugs in my bed, but God is taking care also of them. He is taking care, He is free. He wants that you live. You are given freedom, whatever you like. But if you want to be happy, then give up all this nonsense. Come to me, take shelter me, I will give you all protection. Sarva dhanman parishtagya mamitam saranam vadya. So sweet, prabhava, development. You are trying to make economic development. But how we can develop? Economic development provided there is no material supplied by God. Can you manufacture, can you build, construct a uh, big uh, um, skyscraper building without the materials being supplied by God? Can you manufacture wood? Can you manufacture stone? Can you manufacture lime? You cannot manufacture. Can you manufacture iron? You can work, labor, the material supplied by God, by your labor, by intelligence, you can transform from one thing to another. 
uh, economic expert, they say like that, the man cannot manufacture anything. He can transform one thing to another. Oh, you cannot manufacture iron. Uh, you can transform to iron ores and to a big iron factory. That you can do and waste your time, valuable time. That, that energy you have got. But you cannot produce iron. Uh, you can manufacture glass and live in a very comfortably all side. But where is the glass? Uh, glass is means the stone is melted with some chemicals and it becomes glass. So where is the stone? The stone is supplied by God. The chemical is supplied by God. The intelligence with which you are working, that is supplied by God. Your body is supplied by God. You are God. So everything becomes God. Prabhava. I am the source of supply of everything. Prabhava and Pralaya. Pralaya. If God wants, in a second your New York City will be pushed into the Atlantic. In a second. Pralaya, Anam, ah, is the shelter, Nidhanam, Bijam. Bijam. Bijam means seed. Ah, Abhayam. Now, what these living entities are doing? What are these living entities? They are also uh, parts and parcel of the Supreme Law. We are living entities. We are endeavoring our energy, applying our energy to build up all these things. But these materials have no value if I am not there. Just like this uh, America, this land was lying vacant. So long, the civilized persons from Europe, they did not come here. So by their energy, living entities, the matter has developed. Matter is not prominent. Don't give more importance to the matter. The important is the living entity. And what is this living entity? The living entity is a part and parcel of the Supreme Law. Therefore, he is... Oh, he is the cause of the seeds of living entities. jiva bhuta jiva loka sanatana. Tapami aham. Now, what is this sun? Tapami. It is giving heat. Who is eating? The Lord is eating. You cannot manufacture a sun. Tapami <coughs> aham. Ahang barsam and the rain. Oh, you cannot regulate rain. Oh. That is in God's hand or God's uh, management. Oh. If there is no rain, you cannot make rain. And if there is over rain, you cannot stop. Tapami ahang, ahang barsam, nigrahami, utsijami. And if I want, I can give trouble to the whole population of the world. Nigrani, Ustijami, he can. If I want to annihilate them in a the moment, I can do that. Amritam Chaiva, Mrtuncha, Sadasatcha, Ahamarjuna. Amritam, if I like, I can give you uh, eternal life. Uh, if, if we approach God, eternal life, there is guarantee. And if we don't like, ah, then go on the cycle of birth and death. Mrtyancha, mrtyancha, sadasatcha, ahamarjuna, sat. Sat means the spiritual energy and asat means its material energy. Because both energies are God energy, therefore these energies are also God. Arjuna. This description is given by Lord Krishna to Arjuna uh, about his personal position, God's position. Uh, <coughs> so we have to learn from Bhagavad Gita directly spoken by the Supreme Lord and accept it and do accordingly. Uh, that is called Krishna consciousness. We think of Krishna is everything, or God is everything. 
So let us become submissive and uh, prosecute this, the process of devotion and service. That is the way of happiness. That is the way of perfection. Thank you very much.